So we're going to do the area between a circle, sector, and a triangle, and it's going to be a little more complex of an approach. Uh, this is the first time I've gotten to make a video in over a year because my equipment was stolen out of my house. <laughs> so here we go. We'll see if I can still do this thing. Um, what we have first off, let's say we have a circle, and uh, we'll just draw in a little radius. Let's say its radius is 6. And uh, I'll just uh, kind of make it like that. And let's say this angle here is 145 degrees. Okay. And then also it forms a triangle. If you connect, this would be called a chord. If you connect the two. And, uh, and let's say we wanted to know the area between the sector and that triangle, and that's kind of a complex triangle, somewhat, um, you know, a complex triangle, but it's a little harder than your normal problem, this one is. And so we want to find the area of that red region in between the sector and the triangle. Now, to find the area of any, you know, any two objects, we have two shapes there. We have the sector, and we have the triangle. So the triangle's in blue. I'll do the sector in green so you can see. So we have two basic shapes. And here's the sector. That's not too bad. So we're going to take the green minus the blue. So when you're doing this, you always take the big area minus the small area or smaller area. And that gives you the area between. Between them. So, and so that's the general idea behind this. So we're going to find the area of that sector, and we're going to find the area of the triangle, and then just subtract them. So first off, we know the area of a circle. The area of a circle is, uh, you know, pretty much everybody's taught pi r squared. It's the area of a circle. Well, we don't have a circle. We have a sector. And so we just need to know the proportion of the, sec of the circle that we're dealing with. Well, if you noticed in the picture, it's 145 degrees. And we know a circle, if you kept going around, all the way around, that's 360 degrees. And we could do this in radians too, but for this problem, we'll stick with the degrees. And so all you have to do is multiply that area of the whole circle, which in our case is pi times 6 squared. That would give you the area of the whole thing. And you just have to take it times that central angle, that part of the circle, which was 145 degrees, divided by 360 degrees for the entire circle. So that gives you the entire sector area. So that'd be the whole thing, not just the red, but the entire green area. And what's kind of nice, I, I, you know, we'll do some of this by hand. So, so uh, that's uh, pi times 36. Uh, if you take a 5 out of the 45 and the 360, you get uh, 29 over 72. Uh, and then 36 and 72 reduced to one half. And so this is pi times one half times 29, or 14.5 pi. And if you take that times pi, you know, you can get a calculator out and do that. I, I just did 3.1415. It's about equal to 45 point five five three approximately I mean we've got some issues with uh, significant digits and things like that but not a big deal now the other thing now we also have to look at the blue and I'll go ahead and do a blue I should have done it in green just so you could have saw what we had and so now we'll do this triangle 
and the area of a triangle. Now, there's lots of ways to do this, and you probably have your own methods, but I'm going to use kind of a cheat. We know this, this is 6, because that's the radius of the circle, so they're both 6. And so since we have two adjacent sides of a triangle and the angle between them, I'm going to use the law of sine to kind of, uh, in that formula. So that formula looks like this. It's one half uh, times side times adjacent side times the sine of the included angle. Okay. So in our case, that would be one half times six times six times sine of 145 degrees. Okay, you want to make sure your calculator is in degrees. Sometimes they default to radians. And so that would be um, half of 36 times sine of 145. And half of 36 is 18. So we know the area is 18 sine of 145. So then you could pop a calculator out and you get approximately 10.324, approximately. And so the area of the red section is found by just subtracting the big area minus the small area. So 45.553 minus 10.324 is going to give us an approximate area, and that's why I have the little, the little tildes, an approximate area of 35.23. And so this is kind of the biggest question I get. How do you find, you know, I did a, a video on this that was very popular. Uh, there seems to be popular and, and ki kids are asking me, people are asking me, how do we find an area on a more complicated uh, problem? like what I had, because the one I used, you know, I used 60 degrees or 90 degrees or something, something really easy. You know, when you start using angles that aren't kind of common, like 145 is not a, not a nice angle, uh, you have to break out some more complex tools. And there's lots of different ways of doing this problem, but that's just one more method you can try. So I hope this helps. Glad to be back. See you next time.